Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are playing some more Minecraft Vanilla on hard mode. So, um, as you can see, we did do all this. This is still working. We are going to want to fix this a bit, though, because I don't like having to go back and forth each side. I want to funnel them into one area, and that's going to take a bit of thinking. We got our cows all set up and a room for them. <clears throat> we have also done um, a few other things. So I'm not I'm not 100 sure what I've shown you guys in the last episode. So uh, we're I'm just you know let I'm just gonna show you what's happening. <laughs> so we got all that done. We got a room in here that we've built up, which we're, I'm not sure what we're going to put in there, but it's probably going to be a breaking point between other things. Um, we have built a tunnel system and encased our one floor there, but I wanted to show you guys this. Look, look what we found, okay? We were going exploring, looking for, you know, diamond and redstone and lapis, everything, looking for everything. And we went down there, and I built this bridge across here. So that that's that's a that's irrelevant at the moment. So I want to show you guys where this leads. And this is just outside my goddamn base. Like I didn't even have to go anywhere. Which both is cool and it's kind of cheap at the same time. But uh, I'm okay with that. So we hang right and look at this. Look at this. Well, we found a mine, like a legitimate mine underground. Best part, that mine's gonna have some spawners in there, 100%. Now, if we get lucky, we'll find a skeleton spawner, a zombie spawner, and maybe something else, I don't know. All right, so this is the entrance in, and um, we found pretty much what I said we, we wanted to find, so. Just see you guys now. <laughs> we encased this tunnel and then dug straight down. We didn't do this intentionally. We actually looked at the map to find out exactly where we wanted to position this. That it was outside of the spawning area that we built. So the same thing for the spiders, except I have it set up so that right underneath the spawner is where the water converges. So it pushes them all into this hole that drops them down here. This is a, a, a skeleton farm setup. Now, I will be changing that up eventually, too, to make it a little bit more efficient. But uh, for now, that's, that's good enough. <clears throat> All right, let's go, let's go look for some stuff. Let's just go look around. I'm, I'm kind of curious if we can find anything just off, out of a whim. Because all I did was run through here. See, we got, like... There's lapis up there, there's iron all over the place, there's webs and stuff for string, even though we have a spider farm, so it doesn't matter, but you know what I mean? There's tons of stuff here. And wood. Lots of wood. That's Alright, so now we're gonna put a furnace down so we can start cooking up all of the iron we just picked up. We're gonna need this eventually too. Uh, might as well get it done. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to use wood. I didn't grab any coal. I forgot to grab coal. Shit. Shit. All right, let's go back to it. Back at her. All right, let's go farm out some more. So we'll get our coal now. Cause why not? We're gonna need a lot of that too. We're gonna have to dig up all these tracks as well, but that's okay. Not in a hurry for any of that. All right. That's, that's a decent amount for the start. Um, we're gonna need all the wood still. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Let's 
no iron in here. A oh, hell man. I'm gonna have to clear out that whole area too. So the point of this to being efficient is that you can circle around them the entire time. Instead of attacking one, you can attack all of them around the edges and stuff. But they can still hit you and shit. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix this. Not sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna have to try to fix it somehow. Maybe something with obsidian. Or yeah. All right, guys. So I'm out exploring, and I shit you not. Look what we find. Look! Look! Another spawner. This time a zombie spawner. We have three spawners. And what's pissing me off actually is that I was like, oh, that's really cool. I want to put them all in the same place. And then it would be super awesome. You can't. You can't move them. So we're going to have to dig this whole thing out, turn it into a spawner, um, turn it into a grinder area. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Ah uh, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, we're okay. Whew, if that was a cave spider, we probably would have been dead. Just trying to make sure we can get all those covered so we don't get dropped on. Oops, Skelly. Run away. Alright. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to clear these out. And uh, we're going to figure out how we're going to do this spawner. Because this one's going to be a different one. We're going to build something more fun this time. Than the last two. Alright, so we're going to write down these coordinates. So that we know exactly where this is above. And then we can go five out from either direction. And, uh... And that should be just outside of the room that we're going to make for this spawner. And I completely forgot to look in here. Holy crap. There's lots of stuff. Just take it all. Got some name tags. Let's get rid of some shit. Name tag. I can't grab the melon seeds. Alright. So, we've been digging. We've been digging, and then we had to dig back up because I... We ran out of shit, so we had to dig back. <gasps> oh no! No! Fuck! Ah. <sighs> uh. Okay. Well, let's we'll just keep digging this out. We're gonna dig this down two blocks. God, I can't believe I died. I'm so upset by this. Um, okay, so we gotta dig down two throughout the entire room, and it's gotta be a nine by nine by five. Technically by five. It, I don't think it needs to be that high. But, uh, you know, you wanna make sure there's room above. But all I did was not dig out the ceiling, and the ceiling's been high enough, so it's fine. So we're gonna dig all this out, and then uh, we'll get to the next step. Alright, all dug out. So, what we're gonna do is gonna dig down underneath. Okay? Gonna dig it down. So, we gotta dig a room underneath this room. But. Jump, thank you. But. We need to clear this out, too. Um, I thought I heard something up here. I wanted to make sure there was no skeleton or something. All right, so we're gonna dig, like uh, that's that's where it's supposed to be. The tunnel hole is right there. We're gonna dig it down five from the f the, the floor level is what I did. Um, you can dig it. No, this is probably the better one. This is probably the best. You don't want to dig it too deep because then they'll take damage when they fall and you don't want them to take damage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up as a drowner spawner versus a normal zombie spawner but that's only for now. Um, we can easily change it just by putting in a single sign and, uh, and that changes it back to a zombie spawner. 
It all depends on how you want the water to flow. So we're going to dig this all out so we get this big room that we can work with, and then I'll show you guys what we're going to do. It's going to be fun. Alright, so we're slowly... God, I keep doing some stupid shit. Alright, so we made it down from here. Um, we're not all the way up to the surface yet, but we're very close. Uh, I found a little cave system that's close by, so we, we got into it, and then, then all we do is dig up from there, so that's fine. Okay. Now what do we gotta do? Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna fill most of this in. And then we're gonna get down there and start filling some stuff up. So this is not a tutorial on how to do this. You can find this online very easily. Um, but uh, I, for one, uh, am not going to be showing you every step. I'll try to explain what I can, but I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm going <laughs> to go through everything. We'll see. All right. Well, that's all filled in. That's good. We're done. That. Let us do that. There we go. Okay. Relight. I'm just making sure that we don't miss steps and have to come back up here because that'll be a pain in the ass. Alright, so this is us dug our tunnel up from the top area again. Um, we're going to put a sign in and then some water. And this is going to be our quick way down. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. It's so fancy. Alright, let's dig some stuff out here. This needs to go all the way up to the surface now. Which shouldn't be very far. It should only be a couple blocks higher than that. We can clear this out. That all out of the way. Okay. Cool. Alright, so here we go. Dug from the top. Drop our water. Good. And now we can just drop down. Oh, oh sh shit. I forgot I removed the other water. <laughs> <sighs> That's going to be most of our deaths, guys. A stupid ass mistake. Okay, the water should have made it all the way to the bottom now. Let's just, let's just go safe. Let's just go safe for a second. Yeah, yeah, this whole place covered in water. Yep. Okay. So we need to block this off. Do we collect all of our shit? We're going to block this off, and then we're going to dig a hole underneath the water. Boom, boom. Cool. Good enough. And uh, that way the water flows directly down into our hole and not into the room. And I'm sure anyone who's played Minecraft knows that that's basically how this works. So... Ah, uh, there we go. Is this gonna break any second? We can dig all this out for now. Can always replace these things if need be, but we do need a bigger room, so this this makes sense. We'll just do this. <laughs> Bear with me, man. This is gonna be great. Okay, so we dig these out, water comes down, goes into our hole, and then we can use this as our elevator up and down into this place. Plus we have, or going to have, we gotta build. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna dig this out real quick and uh, replace it with just some walls and stuff just so it's a little protected. So when we come out of here, we're not dead. All right, dig out the door. Cool. There we go. Um, yeah, everything should be closed off enough. Uh, nothing should be able to jump in here. Alright, back at home. We have to put a bunch of crap away. We also have to organize our chests. We have not done so, and everything is all over the place. So, I'm not going to do that right now. What we are going to do right now 
is make redstone repeaters. Nine redstone repeaters, which means we need 18 redstone torches. Which we definitely have enough redstone for, so. Just to make sure we have enough sticks. Yeah, I need two for each one, and then I need... Let's grab this. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Let's see what all the damage that just happened. God damn it. There's all my stuff. Oh. Oh, the redstone, the hopper, the... Um, shit, what do you call them? Good, we got the redstone repeaters. That's what we needed the most. And the dispensers. That's something that's very important, too, in the hopper. We need a bucket. <sighs> and a sticky piston again. Alright, bucket. Let's try to do this again. <laughs> I think we can handle it. If we don't get creeped on. Give me that. You bastard. Okay. Should be... Okay, should be good. So we got our lava. We need to get some water now, too. Um, we need lava. We need water. Two dispensers. One hopper. Some chests. Um... Nine redstone repeaters, and I think two of those. What was that? Oh, look at the little weird ass baby horse. That was a weird looking baby horse. They had like fungus growing on its back or some shit. Okay, well, we're back. We got uh, most of what we need. I think we have all of what we need, actually. So let's get back down there and start putting this together. Alright. So we're going to put our piston here. So so you have both dispensers. Put it there. And then... Like this. Nah. Is that right? Hold on. Okay, we need to put a we need to put a switch in here real quick. Um, oh, it's up here. So we'll put our lever here. Yeah, that's down. We want that to be sideways. We want that to point towards our repeater or our um, dispensers. So we have two dispensers. One holding lava, one holding... Ah, shit, that's not right either. One holding lava, one holding water. The one um, right in front of me there was... This one here is lava. The one next to it is water. <sighs> Man. Yeah, put another one. And then it should fit right there, right? There it is. Oh, finally. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this. Get out of my way. So we click that, and it closes off where we're going to have this. Okay, so this is all going to be closed off. Oh, I'm a full block off on the dispensers, too. <laughs> Shit. Okay. We moved it a block ahead. We put all the water and lava in here. All right, so we got we gotta have a stone button to go here, um, and we got our sticky piston already in there and ready to go. So we gotta clear this out behind the the dispensers significantly because we need to get back there. Let's just start cleaning stuff up and uh, yeah. We'll see, what, we'll see what we got in here. And I'll show you guys what we're doing next. God, I'm excited. If this works, I'm going to be so happy. Alright.
Room cleared out. Not as big. It's only like a 5 by 7 or something like that. So you want to put your repeater here, facing towards the button. And you're going to do three of them that way, and then you're going to go the opposite direction and put three, uh, six of them this way. Oop, that's wrong. Oh, I hear a witch. Okay, so you want to tick all of these all the way over. Every single one of them. Except for this one. That one, only do it once. Okay. Now, we're going to put redstone here, attached to the button. And there should be redstone across the back of this completely. And that's it. That's all that should be done. So let's, uh... Let's test it. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to put the slab up. The slab would have stopped all the lava from pissing out and murdering me. Come on. <laughs> all right, so we got our chest here. I'm gonna finish setting it up before I figure out what's wrong with the uh, our redstone. I think something's wrong, but I'm not sure. So we do that. A hopper's facing this direction. You can just put your chest in, so they'll land on the hopper, and then they'll, you know, die, and then we're good. Cool. Man, this is gonna be so much. Oh, it's gonna be so good if it's done. If it's done right, if we if we can do this and get it to work. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Let's dig this out and put a bunch of slabs here, so the floor is a little lower. That way we can peek into that hole a little easier. Because we don't need to go in deep at all. We just need to poke our heads in. No, oh, and we need one more. Hold on. Boom. Boom. All right. Look at that. It's like perfect eye level now. Okay, so let's see this. Uh. What? <laughs> what? It was working. What the hell? Oh, right. I doubled this up. Maybe that's wrong. Okay, hold on. Let's try... Let's change the button up. Put it here. Okay, lava. Cool. Working. Oh, but the water's not kicking on. The water should have kicked on by now. Okay, so so it's not working yet. Okay, so we're gonna figure this out. I can't turn it on, turn it off myself. That's not the point. The point is for this to be automatic. Alright guys, so I figured out what the problem was. We were facing it the wrong way. You actually have to face it. The water has to face... I th oh, shit, I can't remember now. It was south? I think... Look it up, guys, because I'm not 100% sure if it was south or something. And plus, the redstone here, there has to be blocks in between. I didn't fill out. There's going to be blocks in between where, the, where that is for the button to be pressed. So, anyway, we got this. So we open it up and they fall down because of the water. We're gonna open this up so we can see them a little better. So you can see the piston is closed off the water from above. We turn on the lava. After a few seconds, the water turns on and stops it. And then we just have to hit them all once. And that's it. That's it. So what happens is if they sit up there long enough, they start turning into drowners. I'm assuming because they drowned. Um, I'm not 100% sure why, but what you can do... Oh, and, and the guys who wear armor, they may take more than one hit. So we'll see. Oh! Oh, Birdie! Get out of here. Okay, that's another reason why we put that block there. <laughs> put a slab. No, not there. Shit. Hold on. Boom, boom, okay. Give it a slab, but put it up one more. There, that'll do for now. Okay. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's 
that's gonna be it for today. Um, so there you go. See, look, we even have first enchanted armor. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. You can uh, use this uh, to your heart's content. It honestly is amazing. It's perfect for getting enchanted armor because the zombies drop it so often. So, especially in hard mode, which is what we're playing. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Leave a comment down below on what kind of cool builds you got, and uh, maybe I'll check them out and try them out on the channel, because why not? So I love you all. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <sighs> Peace out, boys.